Hi! Good day everyone! My name is Mira Rose Silversano and I am going to demo teaching about Health 5. So my objectives are at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to know what is COVID-19, explain how to avoid being infected with COVID-19, and illustrate at least four ways to avoid COVID-19. Good morning, class. Ella, will you lead our opening prayer? Good morning again, class. How are you today? Very good. So before you proceed, I want you all to stay alive in my class. So let's have action song first. Jana, lead the action song, head, shoulder, knees, and toes. Wow, are you not feeling sleepy anymore? Very good. Now, you may take your seats. Now, let me check your attendance first. Count your number randomly. Fantastic! Everyone is present. Keep it up, guys. So, before I proceed to our topic for today, I would like to share a story first. This story is all about the two childhood friends, which are titled The Two Childhood Friends. So, since you are three rows in the class, the first row will read the first paragraph in the story and the second row will read the second paragraph and the third row will read the third and last paragraph did you get it class very good What a fantastic reading class! Did you understand the story? Very good! Well, let's find out if you really understand the story. Row 1. What did the two childhood friends do in order for their teacher will not get mad at them? Very good! Now row Three and row two. Will you repeat the answer of row one? Very good. You really understand the story. So, they listen attentively, they raise their hands, and they cooperate when they have group activity. Let's give a barangay clap for everyone. Now, I want you all to do the same with Glenn and Gwen in the story. Did you get it, class? Very good! Now, I have here pictures, and I will show this to you. Then all you have to do is to say something about each picture. Did you understand, class? Very good! So, what can you say about this picture? Yes, Brenna. Very good, Brenna. This picture is a symbol of COVID-19. Let's give a hand to Brenna. What about this picture? Yes, Miko. Okay, very good. This picture is a sanitizer. Let's give a hand to Miko. Lastly, what can you say about this picture? Yes, Anna. Very good, Anna. This picture shows many people who are in ill and some are died. Let's give a hand to Anna. Now class, what do you think 
would be our topic for today. Yes, Randolph? Wow, headshot! Our topic for today is all about what should we know about COVID-19. Let's give a hand to Randolph. This time, I want you to group yourselves into two. Please count off from one to two. The first group will stay in the right side and the second group will stay in the left side. Did you understand? Very good. Now, listen carefully. I will give each group a puzzle pictures and a scramble words. And all you have to do is to arrange it. And after you arrange, you post it on the board. And, and below the picture, you also put the arranged words below the pictures. Did you get it, class? Very good. So, I will only give you five minutes to do your task. Are you ready? All right. So, start now. Time's up. Wow, you did it. Good job, everyone. Now, class, I will show you another pictures. And in the same group, I will give you a shumi drill board and a chalk. All you have to do is to identify if the picture is a cause of COVID-19 or not and or ways to avoid COVID-19 or not. The first group that will raise their answers will be given a plus points. Did you understand? Very good! Wow! Good job, everyone! Let's give a barangay clap for everyone! Now, class, what is COVID-19? Any volunteer to answer? Yes, Kyle? Very good, Kyle! Another, who can give me at least one way to avoid COVID-19? Yes, Mark? Very good, Mark. Who else? Yes, Ken. Very good, Ken. Another, Maria. Very good, Maria. Wow, you are all brilliant, class. Let's give a round of applause to everyone. This time, with the same group, I want you to make a simple role play that will show different ways on how to avoid COVID-19. I will give I will only give you 10 minutes to prepare and another 5 minutes to present here in front. Did you understand class? Okay, very good. So, you may start now. Hep hep, 10 minutes had passed, so you have to present already here in front. Group 1 will be the first presenter and the group 2 will be the last presenter. Go ahead. Wow, that was all amazing. Let's give a hand to everyone for a job well done. Okay, let's move on. I want you to get one whole sheet of paper and I want you to answer this one. Please read the direction carefully. So, 
the direction is white true if the statement is correct and right false if the statement is wrong did you understand okay i will only give you five minutes to answer time's up so count third clockwise up to three one two three okay let's check your answers here is the answer k now who got perfect please raise your hands wow majority of you get the perfect answers let's give a hand for everyone now for your assignment i want you to copy this one in your notebook and answer this in your assignment notebook and this will be past next meeting did you understand okay very good class so this is all for today class goodbye and god bless